Perfect is the enemy of done, just get going. And develop your systems along the way. Be reasonable, don't be stupid, it depends on the context. Build your systems, because the systems are everything. Speaking of which, there's a ridiculous notion about personal training that people have. People have this notion that if they hire a personal trainer, two to three days a week they show up, they work with the personal trainer, they get a really good workout, that that's gonna solve all their problems. And I think the thinking is that, well, you know, I'm not doing anything now, I know I need to get in better shape. So, by hiring John, getting a really good workout with him two to three days a week, and maybe doing a little bit of cardio on my own, and maybe trying to change my dietary habits just a little bit, I'll make progress because I'm not doing anything now. So if nothing else changes, I'm gonna burn more calories, I'm gonna lose weight. Unfortunately, very often it doesn't happen that way. Now, there's a caveat to that. If over time nothing else changes, if you keep your same nutritional habits and you keep everything else the same and you start working with a personal trainer and getting really good workouts two to three days a week, probably you're going to get some results over, the over time. But because so many people underestimate nutritional support of that effort and don't eat adequately throughout the day, which we talked a lot about in the lunch and learn before this one, and these are all archived on fitnessnomad.com, you can catch an excerpt, and then for your annual 1995 subscription fee, you can get access to the full versions of all of them, because I'll keep referring back to them. They're all really good. There is a method to the madness. There is a series I'm developing here. So it's this ridiculous notion that you can hire a personal trainer in two or three days a week, you can solve all your problems. There is so much more to it than that, which is why very often when people show up for their sessions with me, one of the first questions out of my mouth is, what, what did you have for breakfast this morning? What was for lunch? What was for dinner? And we have those conversations. And if it went well, great, we talk about that. If it didn't go well, we talk about why. And we talk about a variety of different things over the course of that session so that by the end of the session, you walk away with three very, very clear action steps, the next steps toward progress in your health and fitness program. It's important though to keep it very, very simple because it can get very overwhelming in a hurry. And that is why it is a vain to do with more what can be done with less. And you're going to see that when I show you my system this week.